Okay, we're up here, we're getting ready to, we've delivered this car and we're getting ready to offload it. So I'm gonna flip the PTO on here and we're gonna show you how to take this thing off and park it for them. Let's see. Uh, come on, kick on in there. There it goes. The one thing I would mention about when you're delivering cars or, uh, let me grab my gloves up here. Whenever you're delivering cars to wherever you're going to, whether it's a garage, a body shop, somebody's home, always get out and talk to them about where they want the car. Don't just unload it and take the keys into the shop and drop it. Uh, be a professional, walk inside and ask them. It's an extra couple minutes, but it'll make you seem a lot better in the long run as far as how the shops view, view you. <clears throat> so just like we put it on, the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna roll this thing back. Again, we're gonna watch for our alignment here. Once we get to the alignment, we're gonna go ahead and tilt the bed and get it down on the ground so we're stable. Just like that. And then before we go any further, we're gonna start taking off our rear straps on both sides. So we're gonna start with this one, break it loose. And I always loop mine under here. Um, I've seen guys do all kinds of different things, but this is the way I do it. Um, I think it makes it nice so they're not flapping in the breeze. Just a couple light, I'm not trying to get it tight, just good enough so that it's secure and it's not going anywhere. I'm gonna go around this other back strap. Same procedure here, we bring it up and over. And again, as soon as you go forward on that ratchet, it, uh, it freewheels. Strap out and pull, pull all the slack out of it. A couple of ratchets down, lock your ratchet back in place. Pull our strap down through here and again I, I pull it all the way back so my strap's not flapping in the breeze. Now we're going to roll this bed back a few more feet. And the very last step is going to be taking the front straps off. And the other thing I would encourage you to do is not to get the bed on the ground round and ground, grind it in. It's an aluminum bed. You want it to just touch the ground. See how it did there? It wasn't grinding the bed. And I'll tilt it up just ever so slightly so that it's got a little bit of pressure on it. And again, over the top, pull it free, take the strap off. Ah, come on through there. And I pull it up there to where it's not gonna flap too far in the breeze. Lock that down. We're gonna go around the back and get our last one. We still have a safety on there. Okay, mic back on here. And again, come all the way over just to remind you, just because you not, may have never used one of these before, you come over to the top and pop it, and that's what pops the safety on the bottom side. So, and again, these may be a little too, I won't say simple, but they're designed for, the videos are designed for someone who's never been around towing, and this might give them a, a helpful hints on, uh, some good practices to get themselves in on the first few days on the job. So now we're gonna, we've got all our straps off. We're still in neutral because we didn't put it in park. Again, that's my company policy. And we're rolling it, rolling it off the bed here. Um, other guys will take the chains off and take it out of park and roll it off the bed. I, I, I'm gonna tell you, you winched it on, you winch it off. You don't ever drive a car on. I'm not gonna say that people don't do it. I'm just telling you from a safety, in my opinion, from a safety standpoint and from a worker's compensation standpoint, I don't want people hurt. So never get on the bed. Avoid getting on the bed at all costs. So 
We're going to let it roll off the bed like this and the amount of time that you save, I don't think it's worth it. I think you're better just to let it winch off. Let the winch go just a little bit limp right there. We'll walk back here. We're going to put this Mustang in park. Get the key off. We're going to down underneath here and take our chains back off. There's one. Let's go over to the other side. There's two. Cars in park, so I don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna roll the bed back up. And again, I think if you just get yourself in the habit of uh, using the red mark on the side till it gets in alignment with the tilt handle, and then go to the other one. And again, don't bang the bed down. I think it makes you look less professional. Nice and easy, touch the bed down, roll the bed the rest of the way forward. <laughs> now, you remember I had all this stage before, so I'm gonna put it back in the same way it was before. So there it is, I always have it on the driver's side, that's my preference. 